Hello again everyone, it's Mel here, I'm back with another video and this video is going to be kind of part two to the last video I did. So in the last video I showed you how to play the B Phrygian dominant scale. Now the Phrygian dominant scale comes from the harmonic minor scale. It's the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. So this B Phrygian dominant is actually coming from the E harmonic minor scale so i showed you how to play the scale last time in the last video i showed you the notes so today we're going to look at the chords that correspond with each note in the scale before we get started though if i could just ask you to leave a like a comment uh, if you can subscribe to the channel that'll help me out i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you can help me to get there that would be great but without further ado, let's have a look at these seven chords that go along with this B Phrygian dominant scale. Just as with the regular major scale, we have seven chords underlying each note of the scale. It's the same with this B Phrygian dominant scale. We've got seven chords under each note, beginning with the first note B. So the first chord is a B7 chord. The second chord is a C major 7. The third chord is a D sharp diminished. Fourth chord is E minor major 7. Fifth chord is F sharp half diminished. The sixth chord is G major 7 sharp 5 or G major 7 augmented. And the final chord, the seventh chord, A minor 7. I was using four note versions of the chords there, but obviously we can just use triads or even dyads, just two note chords. So power chords basically, which is what I was doing in the introduction. So you can shorten these chords. So in that introduction, I was basically just playing power chords. So with four of the seven chords, we can just play a regular power chord. So we've got E minor, we can just play an E, mi uh, an e power chord. A minor seven, we can just play the A power chord. Just the root and the fifth. B7 or B major, we can just play B power chord. C major 7, C major, we can just play C power chord. So there's four chords out of the seven where we can just use a regular power chord. E, A, B and C. Now the others, the D sharp and the F sharp, we have to diminish the fifth, so we have to flatten the fifth by a semitone. So D sharp, instead of playing, we'd flatten that there. Same with the F sharp, instead of playing our regular fifth, we would flatten it and play that. very dissonant sound but it can sound great in the right context and then the last chord the G which is augmented uh, so we have to sharpen the fifth this time so instead of playing that we would move that fifth up to that D sharp Thank you. 
very dissonant sound but it can work really well in the context so that's all I was doing in the introduction over that riff <laughs> Those were the chords I were playing over the top of. Uh, but you can just use this over a regular B major or B7, this scale. Uh, you can also use it over a B minor, sparingly. Don't focus on the major third too much. And you can mix it, as I said before in the last video, with your sort of pentatonic. Very, very melodic scale. I mean, I just threw an improvised solo together over that that backing track that I did uh, but if you sit down and work out a solo you can get something really melodic from this scale so have a play around with it experiment with it you don't have to play those full wacky sounding chords uh, you can just use triads three note chords condense them down or just use power chords as I did in the introduction but anyway those are your seven chords for this B Phrygian dominant scale and that's it from me for this week folks so I'll be back as quick as I can with another video fire until then take care of yourselves and bye for now <laughs>